Hello, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Do you ever worry about how your words can impact your child? The way you nurture your children can heavily impact their mental and emotional development and follow them into adulthood. So if you're wondering what you can say that would be helpful for your children, here are seven phrases that children need to hear from their parents. If you're a child watching this video and found it relatable, be sure to share this video with your parents too. Number one, I liked how you did your child do something that you want to praise? Saying blanket statements like, I'm proud of you, or you're a smart kid, can turn into white noise if said too often, leaving little effect. Instead, phrases that focus on how they achieved their accomplishment can be more beneficial and long lasting. Being more specific with your validations, such as by saying, I'm proud you got an A, you must have studied very hard, or I like how you picked up the trash and made everything tidy can help them better understand and reflect on the positive result of their actions. Number two, your sibling looks up to you. Do you have several children? Older siblings at a younger age can feel jealous and act out once their younger sibling starts getting more attention than them. Instead of telling them to stop misbehaving, Dr. Catherine Kersey, a child psychologist, suggests that a more effective method would be to praise the older siblings and highlight their role in the family. Saying something like, your younger brother or sister really looks up to you in a genuine way can give them a feeling of responsibility and validation without the tension. Number three, although what you did made me angry, I still love you. How do you deal with bad behavior? Whether it's throwing tantrums, disrespecting teachers, or not doing chores. Parents can be reasonably mad or hurt over their child's actions. While some children at a young age don't understand the severity of their actions, they may suffer long-term consequences and feel like a disgrace if their parents use hurtful words like, I'm ashamed of you, or I'm disappointed in you. Instead, you can apply a more loving approach by expressing your concerns while still making them feel valued by saying the phrase above. Number four, let's work on this together. Has your child ever encountered a difficult challenge? How did you respond to it? When a child fails to get something right, like tying their shoes, it can be tempting as parents to do it for them. But by doing this, you're promoting a habit where they become highly dependent on you and lack the confidence to do things by themselves. Not extending help isn't the right course of action either. Instead, you can guide them by telling them what they should do to get them to achieve their goal. Be by their side and work on the task together while allowing them to exert decent amounts of effort so they can feel proud of what they did. Number five, playtime's almost over. Should I wait one minute or two? What do you say when you want your child to do something? Instead of just telling them what you want them to do, it may be more efficient and effective to let them choose between two options. This doesn't apply to just playtime as well, but for other things too, like choosing to eat between two vegetables or what time to go to the dentist. If a parent does the opposite and gives them commands, such as by saying things like, we're leaving now, or you have to finish everything before you get to play, they may end up putting up a fight and refuse to give in to your wishes. Number six, I'm listening. How does it feel when you're always talked over and lectured? For children or young adults, lecturing them may not always come across as helpful or motivating. It could even lead to the opposite effect and worsen their mental health. Instead, giving your child your attention and listening to what they have to say can nurture a healthier two-way street between you and your child. By lending an open ear, you deepen your bond with them and boost your kid's self-esteem, giving them the idea that their thoughts and ideas are important and valid. And number seven, mind showing me how you did that? Has your child done something that they're really proud of? Whether they've solved a Rubik's cube, performed a cool magic trick, or planted some flower seeds in the garden. Showing encouragement and praise to your child helps improve their confidence and sense of self. Even if the results weren't particularly impressive, Praising them for their effort can motivate your child and give them the optimistic mindset that helps them take on future challenges with esteem and confidence. Did you find any of these phrases helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.